All right, so I got everything welded in and then uh, I ground it down so it's flush. It's pretty smooth. There's no big ripples or anything like that. Um, as you can see, what I was talking about on this side, I thought it penetrated really well because the, uh, the weld was a lot flatter and smooth and this side it was kind of piled up like right in here. And as you can see, there's like this porosity. So I'm, I'm guessing it, that's probably part of it is it, it was, it was, I don't know, maybe not hot enough or not going slow enough to let it melt. Um, there was a large gap here as well because of the frame. Um, so I was trying to, I was making kind of like a Z motion going back and forth here to stitch the two together. Uh, here, I don't really have an explanation for it. It was pretty tight, um, but it is what it is. I don't think I can fix that, but I don't necessarily think it needs to be fixed. I think it's uh, gonna be just fine how it is, hopefully. And then I guess we're gonna be on to the next side. All right, so we got that all cleaned up and cut out. It took about 20 minutes, which is awesome. Much, much faster than the last time we did this. Um, the new Dremel Easy Lock pieces uh, worked great. I used about three and a half of uh, the discs. You can see the thing here, it's toolless, um, which is awesome. It uh, makes changing the discs out really easy. And then I used my uh, flap wheel to make this thing into a, a D shape, as we can see here. It drops right in. Um, I'm gonna clean it up a little more and we'll be able to have a little more clearance there. I used a, a carbide bit to actually clean up the hole. So um, that worked out great. It, it chewed through it pretty quickly. Uh, very happy with how this is going and uh, gonna hit this with a flap wheel, get all the paint off it and then we'll be ready to start welding. So I got that all finished and welded. Feel much more confident in it. The welds to me look much better than the welds on the other side. Um, there's no pinholes and stuff. Uh, the welds are a lot flatter. I think they um, melted down both sides. I took my time a lot better. Uh, and I tried a different uh, technique where that side I was doing more of a Z motion. This one I was doing more of a, a cursive E. And, and looping it around, uh, watching the puddle, making sure it, it didn't get too crazy. One spot it did blow through, I had to go back and kind of stitch weld over the top. Uh, not too happy about that, but it is what it is. And uh, I feel like I learned a little bit more about this. So I'm happy with it. And uh, next step is to grind this down, get it flat, and then hit the both of them with some paint. We'll be uh, ready to wrap this up. All right, so we got this all finished up, ground down, got some paint on it. It's uh, pretty nice and smooth. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of pockets there, there, and there. So I spoke a little too soon about the, uh, the spots where it might have had some holes. But this side came out way nice. You can see how smooth that is there. Uh, looks looks really good. I painted this side as well. Um, as you can see, not as nice. All of these, uh, oh, that's still wet. Shouldn't have touched it. Um, but there's there's some pockets there that are not that pretty. But overall, I think it came out pretty good. I'm happy with the results, and I think it's going to work out just fine. All right, we're going to call it a day. Uh, I think this uh, project is wrapped up. So uh, I'm going to throw another coat of paint on it, and then um, from there. Um, I've got a couple other things I want to do with the chassis, which uh, you'll see when the videos come out. But uh, for right now, I'm pretty happy with it and uh, glad I did it. 
the results are not perfect, but I think they, they look pretty good. So uh, on that note, thanks again for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate everybody uh, joining in, commenting, letting me know what's going on uh, with my videos. But uh, thanks again, and we'll see you next time.